Hey, what's up, YouTube? I hope everyone is good. Of course, this is your boy, DJ Troy. Hope everyone is having a wonderful Tuesday, um, October 14, 2014. So let's get to the trending topics. Well, of course, the mass hysteria, hysteria that's been happening has been over the Ebola disease. Um, recently, a nurse was diagnosed with the Ebola virus, and she's being treated at a Dallas hospital in Texas, United States of America, for all my international viewers. And she actually got a blood transfusion that was given to her by one of the former Ebola doctors, one of the former patients who was, you know, a doctor that contracted the Ebola virus. And the reason why the original patient who first got it um, didn't get the Ebola um, antibodies blood transfusion was because, you know, the blood types didn't match. So let's pray for this um, doc, this nurse who's suffering right now and wish her the very best. Of course, there's been a lot of hysteria happening over Ebola. There's so many conspiracy theories. Um, Chris Brown recently said it's, you know, population control. There's so much craziness going on. Um, what I have to tell to all my viewers, all my celebrity watchers and everything like that, is just to uh, stay calm and let's see what is the real situation because the World Health Organization is predicting that in the next coming months, there's going to be like over 10,000 infections of new Ebola cases every month in the next coming months, like 10,000 every month, which is so crazy. But what does that mean for you individually, whether you live in Jamaica or whether you live in Taiwan? You know, where do you live in Ukraine? Like, what does that mean for you? You don't know. So let's just wait and see and don't start getting crazy all of a sudden because once your body is in fear mode, fear mode, sorry, it weakens your immune system. And that's something that you have to worry about, your health. So just wait and see and let's see what's the situation because the people who are in charge are working tirelessly to get this thing under control in America. Um, obviously, there's not a lot of work being put in in Africa. That, and that's a whole nother discussion there. Um, but in America and in Europe, you know, there's a lot of procedures that was put in place to at least to calm or at least to seize or even stop the spread of the Ebola viruses. But with the economy as it is right now, with the world as it is right now, this whole globalization structure where someone who's in the jungle of Brazil could go to Africa within the, within a day, you know, this mass exodus and, you know, someone who's at the bottom of Spain could get to Brooklyn, New York within, you know, three or four hours, depending on what type of plane he's in. So, with globalization, it's kind of hard to stop the spread of disease. But what is it that you don't want to do is to get crazy and to go all berserk, you know, because as we could see, you know, there was a preacher by the name of Campaign who basically predicted that Christ was coming and so many people sold off their stuff. And it happened that a woman sold everything that she had. And after Jesus didn't come, she went into the bathroom quietly and killed herself. And I think our daughter or two of her children, it was just sad. So don't get scared of the situation. Let's just wait and see. Because fear breeds a whole nother level of drama within the human psyche. So let's wait and see about what's going to happen with Ebola. Now... Moving on, on the international stage, of course, everyone know that Malaya, Malala Yousafzai, um, if you know, I mispronounce her name, of course, read my comments at the bottom, you'll see the correct spelling. 
um, she won the Nobel Peace Prize, becoming one of the youngest individual to, ex to have actually accepted a Nobel Peace Prize, which is so wonderful because her story is so unique. You know, her story is so unique where she speaks, spoke out about girls wanting to go to school and girls and having the right to an education. And she was actually shouting the head. And, you know, it, she's just been so positive. So, you know, special shout outs to Malila and her entire family who continue to strive for education. Also to another humanitarian. I think his name is Kalash um, Satya, something like that. Again, read at the bottom. You'll get the correct spelling of his name and pronunciation. Forgive me for that. But he won you know, the Nobel Peace Prize. And it's a very good thing because here you have um, India and Pakistan, you know, basically, you know, coming together as one on the, you know, on the national stage to provide such a wonderful uh, platform to speak about the ills that's happening in humanity. Forget about politics. We know that India and Pakistan has long-standing feud, but the fact that two of its citizens are able to accept and slash get such a wonderful award just speaks of, listen, anything is possible. You stand up for something, you know, this is what you get, you know, and I hope that the money that they get goes towards the greater good of men. And of course, you know, the people that surround them is the people that you have to always watch because Malala is not going to be going around Pakistan giving out money. Her life is on the threat. You know, that, you know, Kalish, he has so much other things to worry about. So, you know, the people that's going to be around them, I hope that they do continue to carry on their work and do the best that they can. Moving on to, um, you know, Mr. Jay-Z and Beyonce, as everyone know, you know, which is such a drastic <laughs> switch of topics, but listen, the clock is counting down. Moving on to Jay-Z and Beyonce, as everyone know, they uh, went to Paris and took some wonderful pictures and it was just iconic. You know, these were like the best selfies in the world. And I hope that, you know, their marriage continue to be very good and you know everything is you know copacetic at home next topic uh of course is uh miami carnival for you know all my caribbean folks out there who you know know about miami unfortunately an individual died and how the accident happened was like this apparently she was in the middle of a truck you know, middle of a truck, the back of the truck and the front of the truck, and her cell phone fell on the floor, and she bent down to pick it up, and the truck drove off, and she it crushed her foot. While in surgery, apparently she died of a heart attack, which is so sad. Um, again, it's, you know, a simple reminder that, you know, we have to, you know, be so careful about the things that we treasure in our art. We have to be so careful about our actions and how we move because she could have just left, left that cell phone and kept her life. You know, now there's a family out there that's missing a mother, a sister, a daughter. You know, my condolences to that family. But, you know, we have to be very careful about our actions and how we approach situation if your cell phone fall down make sure that the road is clear before you actually pick it up you know but sometimes you in you in go mode you're in rush mode and you do things that you wouldn't normally do you wouldn't think before you act so sorry for that situation i know that it's a stain on the carnival but you know just for all my people, the situation and the circumstances might be different, but if your cell phone falls down, you know, make sure that it's safe to actually pick it up. Don't, you know, don't do anything crazy. And, you know, just continue to take care of yourself. Shout outs to 
all the people that's working hard today and doing whatever they got to do. Thank you for tuning in to DJ Troy. Continue to comment, continue to show me some love, subscribe, and everything else. Peace out.